Hey guys, it's been a minute since I've posted on this channel. Sorry that I've been busy. Don't mean to neglect my tech stuff, um, but I wanted to make a quick video because something that I uh, get asked about kind of frequently is my charging setup for the tailgate of my truck because I plug into the trailer port. And I, you know, I've, I've actually shown this in, in some of my vlogs, but people still ask about it because I don't remember which vlog I've mentioned it in, and I just always keep this cord in the back seat. So I don't remember which vlog I've mentioned it in, and I actually haven't seen anyone else do this, so I wanted to make a quick dedicated video so that you can see kind of what's up with that. So, um, got this, got this plug, and it goes from the trailer output of the truck to an XT60, and then that just plugs into my ISDT charger. So the basic premise is on your trailer plug, you got seven plugs, seven pins, I should say. You got seven pins. One is gonna be a constant to the battery and the other is gonna be a ground. If you have another type of trailer plug like the four pin, you probably can't do this because the other pins on the seven pin plug and all the pins on the four pin plug are for the lights. But the constant 12 volt pin, that's actually for running accessories like a, a trailer winch or, or things like that. So it's usually pretty high current fuse. So check your specific vehicle. But on this truck, the Chevy Silverado, link in the description. Just kidding, they don't sell trucks on Amazon. The fuse for this circuit is actually 30 amps. So let me do some quick math. We're gonna round up here. So let's say I was charging a four cell battery at 17 volts at 14 amps, which is the max output of this. It's 238 watts. Then now we'll just divide that by the voltage of, you know, a partially discharged truck battery. So we'll say that's 11 volts. That's 20 one amp. So we still got plenty of headroom before the 30 amp fuse. So even when the truck battery is not fully charged, I can still get full current out of the truck into this all 14 amps. So it's super convenient and the setup is actually really easy. So you can just get this plug. Where's my screwdriver? Yeah, okay. So unscrew this and then which way does this pop out? There we go. Okay. So look at that. So once you get inside this thing, it's really simple. You don't even have to solder there's just terminals that you like screw the wire into and then I just kind of have it wrapped around this plastic piece to stress rel relieve the wires. Um, so really the only thing you have to do is get the get the right um, the right two out of seven terminals. So I'll pop up a diagram and show you which ones you need to uh, connect to but it can be a little bit confusing because it's like a full circle symmetrical and the plug could be either way and the diagrams for either looking at the truck or the plug, I guess. Okay, hold on. How can I best show this to you? So on the plug, there's this ridge right here that kind of keys the plug. And on my truck that goes down, it could go down up on your truck. And so you would plug it in like this. And if you look at the back side of the plug, the top right terminal is the ground, and the bottom left one is the positive. So just check and double check your diagrams to make sure that everything is lined up. Um, let me put this back together. So with everything plugged in, this just inserts into your trailer plug, then we've got our length of wire and our XT60. And then back up top, our XT60 plugs into our charger. And we've got power. Doesn't matter if the truck is on, running, whatever. The truck isn't running right now. We got full power. Uh, you could drain your battery. So after a couple, a couple of batteries you've charged, you might want to idle your truck. Um, and then you'll actually, be, and then you'll actually be guaranteed to get 12 volts or more to the charger, which will mean less drawn current and blah 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 blah. So yeah, really, really simple thing. Um, the the trailer, the trailer plug for charging your batteries. Um, if you have a truck, you should do this because it's super convenient to have a charger on the tailgate like this. Trucks are the ultimate FPV mobile. So yeah, um, that's it. <laughs> I'll see you later.